Hey Grump and Grumpets, it's Grumpy here. Um, I haven't done a beard video, mustache video in a while. So this is a little bit of a get ready with me type of video right now. Um, how you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, it's kind of chilly out here. It's like 40 degrees outside and it's about to rain. Um, but I like rainy days because it lets you enjoy stuff. Like, I'm going to head out to Michael's today to buy some... Um, Crafting stuff like, uh, what am I getting? I'm getting like, um, some polymer clay and stuff like that. Um, start crafting and stuff. So, it's good to go out when it's raining because not a lot of people are outside. So, it's fun. <laughs> anyway, right now I'm burning my cilantro, my pineapple and cilantro candle from Yankee Candle. It's a soy based candle, so it doesn't give me allergies in it. it smells great. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I'm going to fix my mustache up right now, and I'll make a video about this, but this is my American Crew Fiber. So Crew makes stuff for your hair. This is really for your hair, for your like the hair on top of your head to style it up. Um, I love it. It's super inexpensive. This big tin was like 20 bucks, 18 bucks, something like that, but it lasts forever. Um, at my old job, a customer had a curl mustache and I was like oh what do you use so I told him what I use he told me he uses this and I went and bought a little one I tried it and I fell in love with it and I haven't used anything else since um it's amazing looks like this I just take a little bit a little bit goes a long way um a lot of people comb stuff into their mustaches I really don't comb anything um my mustache is pretty long right now I'm trying to grow my beard out a little bit. Um, it's not cooperating. It's driving me nuts because it's growing all crazy. Last time I freaking trimmed it, I took like a patch out over here. Um, I've been, it's been driving me nuts. So I've been, I've been oiling my beard a lot. So anyway, you just want to get some, not too much. The cool thing about it is. That I love about it is like um, unlike other waxes and stuff like that. Well, it's not technically a wax, but some waxes that are this color will remain this color even if you work it in. This goes on this color and then turns clear as you work it in. So I just want to get it all over my mustache. Since so my mustache is pretty long and I haven't trimmed it, I'm gonna go over here and tame it. And work it in there. You see, this, after a while, your mustache traits kind of goes with the flow. See, I don't like having thin. I mean, I don't like having like a thick handlebar. I like it thin, like cartoon style, I guess. You know what I mean? You just flatten it. It's pretty flat. Some people go like that. Like really twist it and just slightly turn it up and then finish form it. The cool thing about it is that it becomes kind of solidified. So then you could, it's almost like it becomes, your mustache becomes like wire. So then you can manipulate it even more when it's a little drier. You can manipulate it a little more. So whatever's left over, I put it on my eyebrows and hook it up. Like I said, it becomes like like hard, like little wires, so you could kind of shape it up however you want. And there you go, I'm done. Um, the next thing in my get ready, I guess, um, is putting the the oil on my beard. Um, I use from the Barba New York. Um, they only sell like in one place. Um, the Terra beard oil. Um. Let's see, what is it? Is jojoba oil, castor oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, vitamin E, good for the skin, um, grapefruit oil, tree, tea tree oil, it's good for the skin too, and hair, and ginger oil. That's the awesome thing. Um, if you want to get this, I recommend you try it like on your on your hand or whatever before you use it. See if you're allergic to it or whatever the case. You know what I mean? Um, because you never know. Anyway, put a couple of drops on my hand. Get it nice and oily and work it in there. I'll work it in. I'll work it in. 
make sure like it seeps in because it should be able to get through to your face. The good thing about these oils is it's all natural. It's scented, so it has a good smell to it. So, I mean, it's very earthy. I don't know if if you like it or not, but I like earthy scents and woody scents. So it has that kind of scent to it, which I enjoy. And I love it. So yeah, these woody scents are great. And I just make sure it's in there, deep in there. Mm -mm -mm. I have all head, sometimes I'll just rub it on there. The remain the excess. Get my head some moisturization. And it feels good. There you go. Perfect. So now I'm all set. Um you like to brush my beard or comb it out. Um I'm gonna brush it with this because I don't know where my comb is. Uh, 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 uh. All set. Let's see. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. And I love this new cinnamon spice vanilla from Bath and Body Works. Come on, it leaves your hands smell like candy. Not only that, but it makes the whole room smell like candy and stuff. It's awesome. I love it. Love it. Let's dry my hands. Anyway, what else? Oh, yeah. I just put my plugs in because I don't have any on. I'm in a rosy mood this week, so. Bend this over. There we go. Mm, I now like to lotion up my hands after I wash them. This is my white tea and ginger from Bath and Body Works. So it's good. Nobody likes to have crusty hands, especially in the winter time. You know, it's really gross and not cute at all. So there we go. And all set. And like I said, I'll make a full review on the fiber on another video, maybe later today and stuff like that. But anyway, let me go put my pants on because I have no pants on. Well, anyway, if you guys let me know what you guys use on your beard and your mustaches, um, what kind of lotions do you guys like? What kind of hand tools do you guys use? Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, remember to like and subscribe and remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at GrumpyBeard83. And um, take care of yourselves and have fun today. Bye.